If you've ever needed a widget for uploading files, let me give you a hint. Don't build that yourself. In this video, we'll take a look at using Uppy as our upload widget so that we can upload images to Node.js and then handle them on the server using a package called Multer. Let me start by saying that this video is sponsored by Uppy, but just know I never do a sponsored video that I don't believe in. And specifically with Uppy, it solves one important use case in an upload widget that I hadn't found before. And that's the ability to upload, use that widget to then send an image to a server that I have running, specify where you want to send that file. And the cool thing about Uppy that we'll see here in a second is you've got multiple different ways that you can import images into this thing. You can get them from uh, Google Drive and Dropbox and OneDrive and all that sort of stuff. And then you can also upload them in different places, mainly uh, an Amazon S3 bucket, and then what we'll do specifically today, which is sending it to a local node server, and we'll write a little bit of code there to handle all of that stuff. Now, a lot of the power with Uppy comes from their plugins. And so we've got the dashboard, which is what uh, we'll kind of use here as the widget. And then you've got all these different sources if you come down here for uh, webcam, we'll see that, Dropbox, Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, OneDrive, Zoom, import from URL, all these different ways that you can import an image. And then you have a few different places where you can send it. Mostly what we're gonna look at today is the XHR upload where it's gonna submit to a locally running server. Speakling, speak, speakling, speaking of a locally running server, uh, we've got one of those that is running. So what we've got in this directory, we've got a node server with Express. And this is hopefully uh, something that you've seen before, but we create our Express or we import require Express, we create our app. And then we do some middleware. Cores allows us to send requests across domains. Static allows Express to serve the static files inside of this disk directory. We'll come to that in a second. The root route here, if you make a get request to the root route, it will send back the index HTML, so the home page for this. And then we go and start up our server. So if we look on localhost 3000, it's serving uh, this basic HTML page. But where is that coming from? Well. I wanted to be able to show you inside of source when we import Uppy, I wanted to not do it from a CDN, which you can do if you look in the documentation in here with the get started, what they'll show you first is just to import Uppy uh, JavaScript from a CDN. But I wanted to actually do this with imports and kind of show you how that works. You could do those imports in React or Vue or anything like that. In this case, we're just using vanilla JavaScript but we're using a parcel bundler to allow us to, to do that build system. So if we look inside of our index.html, it references this app.js here. And then inside of the app.js, it just does a console log of hello world. But because we're running parcel, you can see the command down here, it runs a live reloading server and it's gonna continue to build this HTML file with any dependencies, including this JavaScript file, and then put the output of that inside of this disk directory. So Express is serving from this disk directory and then we're writing our source code inside of the app.js and index.html. So the one thing uh, that we really need inside of this uh, index.html is just a div with an ID of something. It doesn't really matter what it is. In this case, we're calling it the drag and drop area. And from there, we can go ahead and start to uh, import the different packages that we need. So first we'll need to install some. So let's kill this node package or this node uh, server. And we're gonna need to imp install several Uppy packages. So we'll first we'll install the uh, core and then we'll install dashboard and then we'll do webcam and XHR upload as well. All right, so as we install those packages, then we need to actually go and import them. And again, since even though we're just in the kind of a vanilla JavaScript file, since we're using parcel, we can do imports uh, just like we would uh, using Webpack or any other system that has that already configured. So uh, we can first import our Uppy from the core. So then let me import the rest of these things too. So I've got imported here Uppy, XHR, Upload, Dashboard, and then our webcam as well. We'll see that. That'll be pretty cool, I think. So we'll start by creating a, an Uppy instance, a new Uppy in this case. And then uh, what this returns is basically kind of the object that we're working with. And then we can kind of chain together these different uses. So similar to how we do uh, uses with our app in Express, we're gonna use the uses and chain them together with Uppy. So the first thing we really care about is uh, uses of the dashboard. We wanna make sure we use the dashboard. 
and we pass it a configuration object. And uh, first thing is we'll make this in line. And the second thing is we set the target. So the target, if you go back to the HTML page, is the ID of the thing that uh, we are looking to work with. So drag drop area. So if we save this right now, let's go ahead and get our server back up and running, node server JS. I think we might've had a typo in here. This is use instead of uses, just use. So now if we refresh, we should see now that we have the ability to drag and drop uh, files onto this uppy widget. So we can browse files here. I wonder what we'll go to. I'll go to the me section and then I'll just grab a headshot of myself and uh, this will give you the preview. You can add more files and then you can click the upload. In this case, upload won't really do anything because we don't have anything connected. So where do we want to send this file? Well, to send this file somewhere, we can do another use, tell it we want to use something else. And uh, we're going to use our XHR upload. So we'll call it .use again, pass in the XHR upload, and then it will take a configuration object as well. The main thing we care about is the uh, endpoint where we're going to upload this to. So we're going to upload this to our local host server at port 3000. And then we're going to send it specifically to an endpoint that is slash image. Secondly, uh, we need to know the field name. So what's the name of the field that we're sending in this form data? And then lastly, uh, form data will be set to true. So this will submit just as if you created a form on the front end and had an import input of type file and then specified that you wanted to be a form data. So let's save this and let's go back and refresh and let's upload another file. So let's just go through that process again. Here's that one. And let's look inside of the inspect in the network tab and let's try to upload this file. And let's show XHR request and see it sent it to localhost 3000 slash image. Well, that's cool because that's exactly what we want. Now we can actually go and write the code to handle this. So I thought it'd be cool to do a little bit of this server side code as well inside of JavaScript, inside of Node. So we're gonna define another endpoint uh, and this will be a post endpoint and this will be a slash image is going to be the route. So this is where uh, users are gonna upload the image. So we'll do slash image there. We will have a middleware called upload image. We'll get to that in a second. And then we'll have our request and response that you're probably used to. And so what we need to do is define this middleware that says like, hey, when someone submits something to this route, we need to go and grab the data, the form data information and then actually upload that image. Well, this will take some, some configuration with Malter. So let's go ahead and import our Malter above. And this is how you can handle file uploads on your node server. So we'll create Malter there. And then we have just a little bit of configuration stuff. Um, and this, you can kind of look through the docs and see how this works, but we're gonna create a storage, not a storage, but a storage uh, variable. And this is where we're gonna define where we're going to store the information, um, the image itself. And the way Malter works is you upload the image, you get the, uh, to the endpoint, Malter gets the image, it can save it as a temporary file basically. And then from there, you can upload that file to a, a database if you wanted to. So what we're gonna do is just kind of save this into uh, the locally, the local file system here. So we're going to use multer dot disk storage. And then that's going to take a couple of configurations. And the first one is the destination. And we'll start with using the dear name, dear name. That's the current directory that we are in. So there's dear name. And then uh, we'll just say uploads and then slash. So we're going to upload these images to an uploads directory. And then a uh, file name in this case, file lowercase is actually interesting because it is a, an actual file. So file name is a file uh, in this case where we can define how to name this file. So we will uh, basically use the name or the actual uh, current date. So we'll say that the file name is a string, stringified version of date.now. All right, so we'll just give it, uh, give it the current date as a string, but then we need to add on the extension, whatever that is. And what we're going to do is add on the extension of the original file name and the path object that we can import in here actually has a function to do that. So we can say path.ext name and we can get the extension name from the file.original name. So as we upload an image, we're going to have access to it in here. We'll grab the original file name, pass it to ext name, which will give us the actual uh, extension that we're looking for. 
And then lastly, inside of this function, we want to call the callback with null and file name. So this is our ability to now specify, here's what we actually want the file name to be named. Using that storage now, we can create an upload image middleware, the thing that we used before, and we call Molter. And then we say storage is going to be that storage object that we just created. And then we'll call the single here and we'll pass in photo. So what this is saying is we're gonna upload one image and what we're looking for is an input form data that has the name of photo. And if you look back to our uh, field name inside of our uppy configuration, this is saying the upload file name will be photo. So we've got uppy set up and again, uppy took just a few lines of code here to set this up with a really powerful widget. Now we've got our express server that looks like it's ready to go. The one thing that we can add is a little bit of response in here. So it's gonna trigger this upload image middleware. We can then uh, log out the rec.file. So that should be information about the file that was uploaded, saved to this, um, this local file storage. And then if there is a file, we can uh, return a res.json and uh, just a message to say, good job uploading that image, whatever it is. Uh, otherwise, we can do a res.send and we can just say image upload failed. So if there's no image attached to the request, then we know that the upload failed. So we can send back this message. Otherwise, we should be able to log it and then uh, respond back saying, good job, you uploaded an image. So let's see, what we expect is now when we try to upload this thing, it should now create a directory and save this file inside of here. So let's see if this is gonna work. Um, I guess we could uh, just refresh here. Let's browse files. Let's grab that same image, that headshot 400 there. So there that is, and then uh, try to upload this file and we'll see what happens. It came back with a 200. Notice that Uppy now is giving us some uh, little bit of interface here to say, hey, this is complete. You get the checkbox, uh, that's cool. Then lastly, if we look inside of our server, we can see it did something it looks like. And if we look inside of uploads, now you see that that file has been uploaded to my node server and saved inside of this file storage. Now, again, from here, you could take this file and then stream it out, um, send it out to a database of some sort. You could actually configure Uppy to send directly to an S3 bucket, Amazon S3 bucket. But in this case, I thought it was fun to just kind of show off some of the capabilities in node here. Okay, so a couple of cool things extra that I want to add in this case. Uh, one is the ability to upload an actual webcam image. And so with this uh, plugin already installed, we can call a .use, again, same format here, and say uh, webcam, and then say our target is gonna be the dashboard. So basically what's going to allow us to do this webcam upload? Well, it's gonna come from that target. So if we now come back, reload our page, now you can see we have two different options. We can upload stuff from browse files. We can look at our device and also Uppy now has added these icons, uh, this new icon for camera, and we'll see how this works. It's gonna ask permission. We'll come up here. This is probably gonna grab from a different uh, webcam since I'm recording off this one. So I say, this is good. Let's just do this. Let's do an image here. And then we should be able to upload that file. And now that file is uploaded as well. Not my best picture, but at least it's there to prove that this will work. I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, the other thing, that we won't get into all of these, but again, just to show you, here's all of the different sources you can get files from. Dropbox, Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, OneDrive, Zoom, uh, import from URL as well. So the only reason I'm not really showing you these is just because you have to go and configure, uh, register basically an application client inside of those sources. And then it's as easy as pulling those in just like you would the webcam or the XHR upload. You import those things and then you do a dot .use and you pass it and you say how you want to use it. Really pretty sweet, super powerful uh, upload image widget here that you can set up really quickly. The last thing I wanna show is we can do an image.on and do a on complete, or excuse me, uppy dot uh, on and basically register for events. So in this case, we'll get uh, some sort of result in here. And uh, what I wanna look at is the result dot successful and what result that successful should be is basically an array of the successful things that were uploaded and this should just be res in here so now let's just let's go through this again let's do uh maybe we can do another uh another from the camera and can i bend down a little bit to, there we go all right so there's the image and then we'll upload this thing and if we look inside of our console now we should be able to see 
here are the different files that were successfully uploaded. This way, and actually it gives some, some good information in here. This way we could then like add some custom sort of message to the user. If we wanted to, you could do whatever you wanted in this case, uh, but it works pretty well. And just a few lines again of code with Uppy. And then we got to get some practice with uh, handling file uploads in uh, Node.js using Multer. It all works out really well. The last thing I want to say before we go is, is you can combine some of the tools that come from Transloaded. Uppy is an open source project from Transloaded. And you can do a lot of magical things with images like machine learning and image recognition and that sort of stuff. Uh, so I'm curious, would you be interested in learning more about some of that image uh, manipulation and knowledge content? If you're interested in some extra magic there, let me know in the comments below and I'll probably come back with a part two of this video. But anyways, I enjoyed it. I had fun. I love working in JavaScript. I love working with useful plugins that take care of a lot of the work for me. So thanks again for checking out the video and I'll catch you in the next one.